Hey there, what's up? And welcome to another edition of Culture Talks. This is your daily show, Monday through Friday, where we cover trending topics on X, whether it be pop culture, politics, sports, music, entertainment, whatever I find interesting, whatever's trending, we're going to talk about it. I'm not scared to ruffle little feathers here. I'm going to give you my honest opinions. And these topics are up for debate. Obviously, that's what we're here for. We're here to educate each other, learn from each other, discuss, and move forward together. Today, what we're going to be ta- talking about is trending number four in the United States right now, and that's Colbert. So we'll give. You, I always like to give you a little bit of a background as to why this is trending, and then we'll move forward with it. So let's take a look at this quick video here, and uh, this is what's been going viral over uh, the past couple hours here, and it's really gained a lot of momentum. So let's check it out. I know you guys are objective over there, that you just report the news as it is. <laughs> oh, I know, CNN makes a, I know. Is that supposed to be a laugh line? I wasn't supposed to be, but uh, I guess it is. So a bit of an uncomfortable moment for Stephen Colbert there. Now, obviously he is the headliner on CBS, the, the, sh- the night show, daily show that he's on. He came from Comedy Central. He's had a long career as a pop, uh, more of a political commentator, kind of humorous, but kind of making light of politics, but a little bit serious at that. Now, I personally believe that he got hired by CBS because he gained such a following on Comedy Central. In fact, I used to love him. I used to tune into his show Every day, him and Jon Stewart, The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, and then The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. I just, I absolutely loved watching both of those shows. And quite honestly, that's what formed a lot of my opinion when I was younger in terms of like politics and just kind of the way things worked. Not until I got older did I realize that it was really more of like an indoctrination. And it's funny to hear the news, or I'm sorry, the, the, the studio audience have a genuine, organic reaction to what he was saying there. And he didn't mean it as a joke. That's very, very telling. Um, You know, I really think that we are truly in a unique age of where the truth is coming out. And it's not even to say that it's coming out. It's always been there. But I think with the age of the internet, everybody having a phone (laughs) available to them to broadcast to the internet, to the world, you're able to understand a lot more of the world than you were able to even 10, 15 years ago. And I think those in control are scared of that. And you're seeing that with what I talked about last night with the uh, the Donald Trump interview that he had with Elon. Uh, it was delayed quite a bit because there was a DDoS attack. And, you know, if you want to call it a conspiracy theory, so be it. But I think it was the powers that be. They don't want that message getting out there. It's the day after the event and... It has close to, if not already, 1 billion views. That's B billion. (laughs) That is absolutely outrageous. And, you know, Donald Trump was able to, you know, get his message out to obviously the masses to talk about what he truly thinks. Now, whether or not you agree with him, that's neither here nor there. Everyone should have access to the information about our political candidates and about the news in general, about the you know what's going on in the world, to make educated decisions and then vote upon that. Uh, I think there's you know unfortunately I think power corrupts. You know that saying that absolute power corrupts and corrupt or power corrupts whatever that saying is. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, power definitely you know is is intoxicating, especially the higher up the ladder you go. So it was a really, really interesting telling moment to see Colbert's audience, I'm not gonna say turn on him, but have that moment where it was completely unexpected. I think it was, honestly, it was very cool for me to see that because I think people are actually waking up to the fact that whether it be Fox, whether it be CNN, whether it be any of the major news networks, they obviously all have an agenda and it's hard to like they're more entertainment than what they are you know especially this day it's all about clicks viewership how do you gain the uh people's attention how do you gain viewers that's what it's all about you know if you were to just go on every day and just talk blandly about boring news topics that's not as enticing as the world's ending we're all gonna die you know democracy's at stake yada 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 
it really was just a, a, a pure organic moment to see what is believed to be a very left-leaning liberal crowd at a Colbert show laugh at the fact that CNN is objective truth and or objective news. That was, that was really interesting to see that. And you could see Colbert didn't really know how to act, didn't know really how to respond to that. You know, she asked if it was a, uh, an applause break that was planned and he said no. And uh, it's, it's just kind of, it's, it's cool to see the truth actually coming out. Again, both sides are doing this. This isn't one side or another. This is just an example that happened to happen on somebody who's very left. I think there's going to be more of this to come. So, you know, never stop searching for answers. Never stop searching for the truth. Don't take anything it's at face value. The idea that you're not supposed to do your own research, that's absolutely ridiculous. I, whenever you hear that, or whenever somebody tells you definitively that they know something a thousand percent, I'm always skeptical of that because I think part of being a human is uh, and the human experience is being humble, showing humility that you don't know what you don't know. I'm always willing to formulate and change my, my opinions in different ways because I don't know everything, of course, nobody does. And like I mentioned yesterday, you should always be following people on social media that you disagree with. So you get a well-rounded view of the world. If you only follow those that you agree with and those that you believe in, well, you're just gonna go farther and farther away from hearing what anyone else with any kind of differing opinion has to say, and that's just not good. That's just incredibly polarizing, and that all of a sudden you're gonna see, which I think we're getting now, is you know people on one side of the spectrum not talking to the other, and that's where real danger happens. So don't be scared to speak whatever you believe in and uh, be willing to talk about what you believe in with anybody. I'm willing to talk to anybody about anything. I think I'm pretty level-headed and of course I have my opinions on a lot of things, but um, this was a real, real important moment, I think, for us to understand what actually happened there is he was saying a line prefacing a question that was not supposed to be funny and they laughed. And that is definitely something that I was really happy to see, to be honest with you, because, you know, through the past couple of years, there's been a lot of indoctrination on these major media networks that is played off as just like entertainment or just played off as, you know, something silly, but it's really like trying to force you to think a very specific way. And if you disagree with that way of thinking, then, you know, you're the outcast or you're the conspiracy theorists or whatever that may be. So do your own research, you know, under, get a, a whole world view, understand where the other side's coming from and uh, don't use, you know, one piece of information as your source of information for the world. You know, don't get your news from one source. Look at a news story and try to get a whole, you know, 360 degree view of what's actually going on. And I think if everybody started to do that, I think it's gonna make our country better. You know, I'm, I'm an American, I love the United States of America and freedom of speech is I think what makes our country great. So don't stop talking, don't stop learning, don't stop searching, you know, for the truth. And uh, this, this Colbert thing was, was pretty funny because, you know, quite honestly, I, I kind of felt abandoned by Colbert watching his show for many years, you know, when he was on Comedy Central. Once you moved over to CBS, it just became purely political propaganda, you know, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, he had to tell the company line and shove whatever they were talking about down the people's throats. And it really is a turnoff. And I think some more people are starting to wake up to that idea. So that's it for today's Culture Talk. So thanks for following along. As always, I really appreciate it. Make sure, subscribe to the channel, like this video. If you got any comments on this, which I'm sure you do, uh, drop them down below. Again, I uh, just do these off the top of my head. I just like to talk and uh, I have a lot of opinions about a lot of things. And I, I, this is a pastime of mine. I really love learning about politics and culture and pop culture and just kind of the way the whole world works. So if I missed something, let me know. If I was wrong, let me know. Again, I don't know everything. So any interaction is great. I think I'm trying, I'm, I think I'm trying to create an open discussion here and follow my page for other fun stuff. This isn't going to be purely political. I just had thoughts on this because I was such a Colbert fan for so long. I wanted to talk about it, but sports, news, 
entertainment, movies, all kinds of stuff we're going to be talking about. So thanks for following, like I said, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to do these Monday through Friday, try to keep them anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. And it looks like we're just under 11 minutes. So mission accomplished today. So we'll see you tomorrow. This is, it was August 13th, 2024. We'll see you tomorrow for another Culture Talks.